Hello, my dear students. Today we will discuss all the important questions from the poem "Keeping Quiet." Question number one: How would humanity benefit if people did not speak in any language? First point should be: Language breeds discrimination, and because of linguistic chauvinism, domination starts. And uh, this example we have already seen in the chapter, the last lesson. Okay, where French people were subjugated by German, and German language was to be implemented upon them. German language was to be implemented upon them. So here you have to write no language, no discrimination throughout the world. If there will not be any language, then there will not be any discriminations as well. Okay. Question number two: Why did the poet urge us to keep still? Much of the unrest in this world is the result of man's so-called progressive and forward nature. So no activities, no progressive activities. It means no use of arms. Okay, for power, and uh, there will be peace and tranquility. Question number three: Why does the poet want men on earth to keep quiet? First positive thing is the poet wants to promote peace and brotherhood. He had seen the positive aspects of remaining quiet, and it is best antidote for restlessness. Okay. Question number four: What would be an exotic moment for the poet? a moment of immense world peace where there is universal brotherhood and love which is created through introspection and silence this is going to be exotic moment for the poet question number 5 explain without rush without engines so it is this particular phrase is symbolic to hubbubs of the modern life okay which is very competitive and in rat race to outshine others we have become so much engaged that we don't have time to look after ourselves and life will be peaceful if we stop all these thoughtless advancements okay question number 6 explain sudden strangeness exotic moment of introspection built a sudden strange feeling of universal brotherhood See, introspection is very important. In, introspection means self-examination. So, when we examine our deeds, then we understand the follies of it, and we go towards universal brotherhood. Okay, and togetherness is a new, inexplicable thing. So, togetherness, unity, is something which cannot be expressed. It is because this is the first time entire world will be together. We know that it is rare to happen, but still. the poet is optimistic for this okay question number 7 what are fishermen symbolic of they are symbolic of all the sorts of hunters okay it is not only limited to water land air and sea all the hunters are symbolic of fishermen and uh, they kill animals without any discrimination be it bird be it human being be it animals everybody is being hunted by uh, these people therefore it is symbolic of that and the man gathering salt hurt hands explain so here we find man who is continuous sufferer they want comfort of life okay but in pursuit of that they have harmed him themselves man needs to look man needs to look to their life as well see man has become so much hard working person because of which they have forgotten to take care of themselves their health is raining their family's emotional health is also raining but they don't have time to look after them they feel that money can buy all the happiness which is not true next question is who are those referred to here those are referred here as politicians the politicians the statesmen statesmen and uh, the scientists okay who initiate war because of material advancement to prove that they have developed they have created something in order to have power over another weak nation they create war they wage war so they are referred here question number 10 explain green wars wars with gas wars with fire so here altogether it is a war against nature all the flora and fauna will be destroyed when war will be initiated okay so therefore it is war against environment it could be biological war it could be chemical war it could be any kind of war eventually it is against nature okay 
let's move towards question number 11 clean clothes means without any bloodshed okay and um, this also shows when we stop destructive uh, destructive activities then automatically we will be pure and we will think about our fellow brothers question number 13 what lesson will men learn when he just walks about with his brothers doing nothing first of all they realize the strength of humanity then they become conscious of universal brotherhood and the destructive activities will stop when we are concerned about universal brotherhood automatically destructive activities will stop who which will destroy their fellow brothers okay this can provide a healing touch to mankind all right question number 14 what does total inactivity imply total inactivity implies a phase of complete quiet and stillness no activity on earth especially destructive one and constructive activity should continue like keeping quiet keeping quiet is constructive activity it is because we are creating peace and brotherhood we are creating love among ourselves so positive activities should continue and destructive should remain still okay question number 15 what is life all about life is an ongoing process nobody can stop life in Nagasaki and Hiroshima bomb was dropped atom bombs were dropped but now they are rejuvenating okay now they are there is rebirth now nature is healing itself so life is not going to be stopped by any means so everybody's life will continue and we can never stand still so life is all about continuing our process of living by any means okay question number 16 explain i want no truck with death the poet does not believe in inactivity see he does not want everybody to die because inactivity means death when we are dead that time only we remain inactive but poet does not want any association with death okay any association with death, death he promotes constructive activity rather than destructive activity okay according to him destructive activity should remain just like death okay and constructive activity should remain just like taking birth question number 17 what is man single-minded about single-minded they are single-minded about scientific progress modern advancement and they pay no heed to consequences of his moves we have of course made atom bombs we have made boundaries but what is the use is it benefiting our nature is it benefiting humankind no we are we have become so much cynical we have become hypocrites and therefore we always show our power of atom bomb power of other weapons in order to threaten other weak countries so because of scientific advancement, we have become aloof from our own fellow mates. Okay, let's continue. Question number 18. Explain, keeping our lives moving. See, it is a comment on the modern man's mechanized and busy life. Working on the path of destruction. They are walking in the path of destruction because whatever they are creating, that is not for humankind. Okay, they are trapped in a rat race of mad competition they have no rest and no peace of mind people are earning money but more is there in their mind they want more every time their heart and mind wants more there is no full stop on their desire because of which this line has become very important okay question number 19 what is the sadness of never understanding ourselves materialistic things have made us so greedy because of which our entire life has become sad okay and in order to gain materialistic things we have sacrificed our emotional need okay we want love at the cost of money we want to we don't spend time with our family members because we don't have time why we don't have time because we want more money so this is the flaw of human being human have become sad and isolated of course when we don't keep our emotional health well, when we don't have our family members along with us, our friends with us, our brothers and sisters with us, then automatically our problem will not be shared by anyone. And in this world, in the name of friends, there are only handful of people who are 
who can be called as true friends okay so the problem lies here let's continue question number 20 what can earth teach us the lesson of preserving and resurrecting life how new life emerges from the ashes of the dead remains so earth teaches us how to preserve it keeps if you if we sow anything under the bed of earth it keeps it preserved and when time comes we find it was not dead it was generating life in itself okay so this is what we have to learn we have to learn to be very learn perseverance we should learn patience from earth <clears throat> what does everything seem dead everything seems dead imply it is symbolic of doomsday even when all comes to an end earth will continue preserving and resurrecting see i have give already given example of nagasaki and hiroshima and forget about those two places everywhere throughout the globe we had experienced so many wars and clashes okay and now we are fi uh, we find that people have forgotten the people have healed from their past and they have become ready for ready to face life okay so this is what we learn from earth how will it later prove to be alive life is an eternal and ongoing process man is caught in the single sorry man is caught in the cycle of birth and death new life rises from the dead remains life is a continuous process and it will keep on continuing our forefathers contributed to the upgradation of the society and they passed away from this earth but another other people had come to continue with those customs and now we are the one to continue with the same so life is a continuous process and it cannot be it cannot come to a dead still okay let's move ahead what will keeping quiet help us achieve it asks us to experience the aesthetic moments of silence create a rejuvenation of thoughts and a transition of mindset he quietly departs leaving his audience in the exotic moment now at the call of the poet all the people have all the people are experiencing happy moments of silence okay no one is talking because of which there is no language barrier no one is moving their hands because of which there is no war okay then thought has been created towards their brothers okay transition of mindset from destructive activities to constructive activities okay he quietly departs now poet's work is over okay when he is able to bind everybody into one thread then he is able he is he has completed his task now he takes leave from the audience what is the theme of the poem the theme of the poem is utility of introspection utility of brotherhood and utility of constructive deeds okay you all have to mention all these things thank you all the students these are all the important questions from this poem we will meet in our next video thank you